All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are having a little bit of a different lecture here today. A lecture I had previously scheduled, as you can see down below, was to do take turns sort of basic go style of a lecture. However, uh, you will notice that I either have already done so or I will be uploading uh, onto YouTube a much better game in place of that that I had with a student of mine. That is pretty much exactly what I wanted from the lecture. So we bumped that idea and now we're going to improvise. Improv uh, where's the window? KGS chat window. There we go. So we're improvising today by deciding to instead go over a game that I have not actually looked at yet. And as you can see, players are over there on the other side of the screen. We have Shin Jin Zhou, who if you don't know who that is, he is a young Korean player who I think is being rather lazy about getting his professional 9 Don status because he is absolutely a player who will be getting professional 9 Don. Sadly, he has not done so yet. But I think especially after this game, because I, th from what I, I don't know, I think what I peaked at the end of it, it oh, it ends like spectacularly. So you'll probably agree that he deserves it, or maybe he just got lucky. I have no idea. Anyways, playing a Kareem Nine Don as well. So hope you enjoy the game, and I hope I do too, because I have no idea what's gonna happen in this game. All right, so Park opens up as black. And he takes a 3-4 point, alright. We've got a 4-4 four, four point from white. Uh-huh. Taking another 3-4 from the 9-don. And Shin is opening up a dual 4-4 four, four points. White is 16 years old, but has been pro for 4 years, so says Gobaduk. That makes a lot of sense. I've seen him around for a little while. I guess you can't really harp on him not being a 9 down in four years, right? I mean, you can't really get on his case for that. That's still pretty good. But all right, dual 4-4 four, four points there. Ah, Orthodox. Orthodox, we always see Orthodox. Why not? Why not? We're going to see the approach. Yep. All right. The attachment. It's pretty straightforward. So, so far we have textbook Orthodox here, right? This is textbook. Oh, no. Uh, why not R5 for white anymore? R5 for white? What do you mean, R5 for white? Play here. We don't usually play this because this, uh, with my opinion, I don't like the pincer working so well with the uh, enclosure. This is pretty much exactly where you want to play it if you want to extend from your corner to get the most value out of it. So you're getting like insane amounts of value while putting pressure on the stone. Now you might say, but then why don't you play it here? And that could be a pretty good question. And the reason why you don't is usually because of this. It's pretty easy to get influence here and not always good, not, 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 blah, 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 not always easy to get a good result here because now clearly the one stone so far away is putting like zero pressure upon us. You have to pick your Jiseki with absolute care. You could do this, I guess. And then go under. But now the stone is too close to us? I don't know. I don't like it anyway. But here's something interesting that I'm seeing. Does everybody know what's going to happen next for white? I'm sure you do. N3? For white? No way. I'm not gonna play N3 for white. Oh, you thought we were for black. Okay, I got you. I see Sekta. Yeah, now we're gonna play this. Because this is the attachment that we are all playing now. It used to be here. And then we used to go through this variation. But now we're attaching on the outside to try to develop the uh, right. Don't tell me it's the AlphaGo peep. If it was Gu Li playing, I would say, yeah, it's probably the AlphaGo peep. There are a couple of players who have apparently fallen in love with that move, and he sadly is one of them. But no, no AlphaGo peep so far, I don't think. 
I can't say that definitively, because I haven't seen the game yet. Alright, we're making this exchange. We're going to go down. Okay. Oh, I lied to you. I'm sorry. I lied. We do do the AlphaGo peep. But we're still going to play here, right? I mean, we're hoping that this is Sente so we can play on the right-hand side. Or are we going to be pincered? This is the AlphaGo peep. AlphaGo likes peeping here. Alright, so we're going to play here and then turn. But now we've opened up the possibility of a, uh, a counterattack. Does black counterattack? I would. I don't know, if we're gonna do that, we're like going straight into the other game, right? Like, if we actually play here, and this is gonna play here, and then we're gonna probably play something like that. And then we're just gonna be fighting over the right-hand side? Surely not. Surely not. How's this game gonna go? He extends! Nindon says, no, we are not gonna attack here. So white gets to connect. Interesting. If you were more aggressive, if you were more aggressive, then I would say, okay, R8. But all right, black just wants to get two healthy corners for himself. He wants to have Sente, which he clearly does right now. So I guess we're going to what? What next? Uh, if we're going to play the larger side, we're either playing on the inside, here or here, or playing on the outside over here. We might play on the outside since we played to the fifth line up top. I can see the development. Yeah, my bet here. I was correct. And we back off, I suppose. Because there's no reason to pincer this. We'd almost never pincer here. Because, like, what is here? We're fighting over, like, fewer lines here than there are over there. Right, back off. Now, my mouse already flips the next move, so I already know what it is. It's this. I was going to say you could play here, but this gets risky. Because you can't just be invested in this area. Otherwise, you're inviting your opponent to try to grow while limiting you, I suppose. Oh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay, though. This runs the risk of the invasion, of course. I suppose this also runs the risk of an invasion, now that I think about it. There's room there, right? Because we can, like, come out, and we still have enough room to make up this kind of a base. Apparently, apparently Park really, really, really likes his territory. Did not see this move coming. Now, I knew that this wasn't going to be played, because a 3-3 is usually regarded as really, really small. Well, not really, really small, but it's just a little slow. So I figured maybe we would see a move like the enclosure here, or maybe we would see a move... I don't know, the right's not very interesting anymore, is it? Because, like, this isn't Sente. Um, hmm. Well, that one's interesting. So what would we see? If not the 3-3, three, three, if we remove it off the board, we've got A as a possibility. But what else? Is there any other move? Because I don't think we're going to take a move like B. That seems a bit slow. And then this is not... Sente. I guess we could play it B, at top of the board right now, and then go for the influence variation. But we don't have anything around D10 to make it like a really, really nice. Hmm. Guess we could play a territorial variation and clamp, and attach rather. Hmm. White uh, leans. This is a game that I've seen a lot of professional games that I haven't adopted in my own. So I'm not entirely certain when I would want to play this. 
This is interesting. So he has, he clearly wants influence, I guess. Like if if Black just decides to do this kind of thing, really good for White, right? We can play something over here. This isn't really gonna matter very much. Our Black comes up, I see. So we're if we Hane. We're gonna get cut. Doesn't that just get messy? I guess we're gonna hunt and get cut and just have a fight? I don't know. No, we're actually dropping down here. Huh. Black comes out, I guess we're gonna hunt it? Now we go into the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, I failed this completely. So, he goes up. This usually says that we want influence, right? And then he's like, no, I want to settle. Then black comes out saying no influence for you, so black, so white says no base for you. But there's still a bit of a base here, right? Because like, we can make this exchange. We can get like an eye, I guess. But Or we can just turn. What are we going to do? We're going to turn? We're going to turn. We're going to Hane. I suck at this game. So if we play here... That gets played, and then we're uncomfortable because this shape sucks. Okay, I'll buy it. Because this is Gote. We can go off and play something else now, right? Alright, that makes sense. So there, there. Are we gonna Hane? Okay, we are. And then we're gonna connect, and then get some shape. Now we're making some, now we're, now we're making something that, make, that makes sense again. I can make sense of this shape. Um, black plays here. Uh, I don't know, we have two choices, come out or settle. I, I want to not settle and be surrounded. I, I don't want to settle. I wouldn't want to settle. I'd want to come out. It leaves a cut point behind, but the cut point's kind of small, right? If we, like, play elsewhere, and black does this kind of thing. All he's really saying is here have better shape than you do now. So I don't I don't think that's the bad thing. He does come out. All right. Yeah, because the options were here, or the other tempting one was to play this. But then... You have to worry about your opponent making you defend yourself repeatedly, right? Like, you might just be hemorrhaging territory or influence here. And we're not even completely alive, because this isn't an eye completely yet, right? So this just turns into, like, a really bad situation. Okay, so we come out. And if our opponent takes this move now, we don't even care. Because that's not really affecting us in any meaningful fashion. So, okay, we can come out. Hello, Bradikeen. And I just got an email alert. So I do want to say, Lux, you did actually keep your word at the bargain and you didn't have to. Because that was just a joke. But thanks for becoming a patron. Uh, let's see, Atari... Really? Really? Why are we playing the Atari here? Are we just, like, afraid of being under attack? If we play here, 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 take, and then defend, why Atari here? Because we know this is going to be played, right? Next. Yeah. I guess we get to take in Sente. Yeah, do it in Sente, I guess. 
See, that's one of the things that I would have been afraid of to do, like, way too early. It's like, if I do this, am I, like, getting rid of, like, co-threats and things like that? Everything in the upper left corner is bizarre for me. A little bit. It's a little bit strange. It did begin off with a shoulder hit, keep in mind. Alright, so we got that. Black has Sente. Um, where are large moons for black? Large moons for black is... Du -du 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 -du. I guess I'm approaching a corner is uh, pretty large, but this is Sente. I think C is Sente. So I, I vote... I, I'm, I'm guessing C. Um, do we have any invasions over on the right-hand side? Uh, if we play like C or, or D or E, can we live there? That goes into there, that goes into there... We might be able to squeak out something, but probably too early. I only see A, B, and C right now for black. Not really seeing much else. Totally C, says Sick Willy. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And the answer is... C. Okay. Now, I don't think we're just going to suck it up and go into the corner. Right, we're going to come out? We're going to ignore. Okay, I said that we're not going to go into the corner all meekly. Yeah, okay. I didn't think we were going to take that to mean let's just play elsewhere, though. Alright, that's a thing. I guess we enclose the corner? We play elsewhere. Okay. That's getting interesting. Oh, shoot. Was it Sync Pet? I'm sorry, Sync Pet. I don't know why I read your name as Sick Willy. Sorry. I don't know why. I have no idea why I read that. That is so stupid. Um, okay, so we're coming out. Hmm. I don't know. We don't have to defend, right? If we play here, we play there. If he plays there, we play there. If he plays here, we can play here, I guess. Or play there. So we're defended here. So this is Gote. He just wants white not to come out to the center, I guess. Okay, so we don't ignore, we don't respond, and we attack the one stone. Yeah, I guess he's worried that... Um... That this area could grow? But I mean, I don't think you can play it this way because the cut works, right? Unless we're just going to give up the three stones, which I don't think we're going to do. I guess we can play here. Mm, the invasion is possible, Gobaduck, but I don't think the invasion is big right now. Because it's really easy to handle the invasion, yeah? Yeah, black's just black's just poking. Light poke, easy response. Really, white's gonna give up the stones. Oh, cause it's sente. We give that up, and then we can just take a larger point, and then black got the three stones. But in exchange for launching an attack on these three stones, White said, okay, then I'm going to put pressure on your one stone, and I'm going to expand, which has more meaning for later on as well. 
Okay. Time to defend. Now we go into the corner. Yep, okay. Reason why we go into the corner in case someone's a double digit Q and can't read that out. There's annoying things here that we can't just respond to normally, otherwise we're in trouble. We have to do odd things like this in order to try to get enough room to make eyes, and that's kind of wrecking territory. So here we're nice and safe. Nothing's weak on the board right now. I mean, the top group is the weakest, but it's not really weak because it's got shape. What does black do? Black goes on the bottom of the board now. Okay. Um, I like territory, but J3 would be lonely. White actually backs out, I guess, to do the building. I can't wait to see what exactly is going to happen here. Because I know how the board ends. I just don't know how the board gets there. And from what I'm seeing right now, I can't imagine what's going to happen next. So we're going to go and try and live very, very tiny down here. This is usually why I don't like playing that way. I'll just usually try to live in a corner or something. Kind of tough to live here now when we're pushed on the second line like that. Clamping, no, 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 no. Gets to turn, now we're alive, but that's the life that we have to deal with. Points wise, is B ahead? Um, yeah, yeah, solid points definitely go to black. <clears throat> to black, I think. White's well, got the potential for growth, but I think black is solidly ahead because he's got the large corner in the upper right, he's got a corner in the bottom right, and a little bit of a lower left. White's got, you know, this little guy, but he's open to reduction. And this, which is also open to reduction. Speaking of which, black's... Looking to reduce more of white's points. That seems small, though. Like, I see... If I've, if I've identified that I'm ahead right now, which I think we just did, then don't you reduce how white can get at, like, more points and come back? And at that point, don't you look at all of the influence moves that he has and say, okay, let's concentrate on the middle now and not, not, not this kind of thing? It seems really tiny. Maybe I'm wrong. Does white even answer? No, white does not answer. White's like, uh, nope. I'm attacking now. Use that influence to attack something. Exactly. See, I, I don't know. I think S12 is small. So we're going to play there. Going to come on up. Now we're going to go and try to live local. So Black said, it's okay, you can attack me, my life and death will see me through. Sente, sente, sente. Don't spill rootbeer.javascript. Okay, I will not. To be fair, what was it? Last week? Week before last? Something like that? It's, I didn't spill it. it, I opened it up and it just went everywhere. All right, so we're living. Wait, what? But we're not live in the corner now. Okay, forget the corner. But if we live in the corner now, we're not alive here just yet, right? I don't know. Okay, this is, I guess, still gonna be alive now. Whoa, and we don't even kill it. He's just after the center again, to surround it. He's keeping his eye firmly on his development, and his development is, like, the middle, not killing a corner in Gote or, you know, whatever. 
That I like from I like I like that from Lloyd a lot. It's like I've got no problems here. So that's pretty strong. And then white goes and then black gets to live here too. Okay. So he doesn't even care and he extends. Is B15 an issue? What's B15? Not really, because white's black's okay, right? If there's any trouble there, wouldn't this and this be a Mii if there was like a problem? Okay, here it is. Okay, so let's highlight what's going on on the board right now. We've got this, right? We've got these stones saying very, very slowly that I'm going to take what's in the middle of all of this. So black says, I need to reduce. And I'm going to reduce right now. <laughs> now, now I understand how this board turns how it does. Okay. Can anyone name the problems with this move? Yes, I just asked you to uh, critique a professional nine don. What are the problems with this move? Psych says it's Gote. That's that's a pretty big problem. We have to ask ourselves how it's going to live. Because usually when we reduce, we want moves in Sente, we want to take advantage of Aji, things like that. But... The, how is this taking advantage of any Aji? It's just kind of, it's just kind of there. So yeah, I expect White to counterattack it immediately. K7 probe. I don't think it's a probe. He's trying to live. So let, let's see if he can live. Professional Nine Don. Living in the center of the board. That would be nerve wracking. Oh my god. If I got into a game against Professional Nine Don where I realized I have to kill him or I lose, at that point I just assume that I lose. All right, got them forcing moves going up. Not allowing him to connect over. Yeah, we're all in. We're committed. All right, Aji here. I like that. Uh, okay, yeah, still me I. Forcing move. Forcing move. Forcing move. What's that move? What are we trying to do with the Hane? Are we trying to provoke a cut so we can control it? We cut, we get more forcing moves, live in center. L3 and K2. Does that really have value though? I mean, if you do play that, right? If you do play this. That, 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 no, that would be bad. There we go. Is that really a threat? Or are we just trying to get this move in Sentai? Not like that. Yeah, that's what, okay. Hmm. But still, I wonder about the, v well. Oh, because of this. I got you now. That's the value. You just made yourself a way to live. And white resigns from being pro because oh my God, that'd be embarrassing. No, so you would play here first. That would never happen. 
That would never, ever, ever happen. M2 wrong, you say. So we just play here? And then take? And then play there. Okay, you're right. You're right, M2 is the bad move. Yep, back to resigning. Alright, so that's what's going on there. Gotcha. Or not, apparently that doesn't really matter because we have spent the time reading all of that out and saying, okay, yeah, this is definitely a move that needs to be responded to because if he doesn't do it, then you're going to die. And then White's just like, nope. Okay, so, uh, um, how do we respond to L3 then? I'm so confused. What do we do about L3? Please play L3, because I want to know what we do here. Nope, we're not going to play L3. We're shoulder hitting. And then he plays L3. Oh, th now we'll never know. Now we'll never know. What would he have done if he played here now? Play here? But if you do that, aren't you... I don't know, are you going to give that up? And be super, super all in? I guess. Yeah, I guess you could go super, super all in. All right. So, doot, doot. Now what? Follow up, okay. Backing off. We're getting some, some eye shape. Getting some eye shape. Protecting. We're not surrounded anymore. Now we're getting eye shape and we're getting out, maybe? Uh-oh. That's forcing, gotta go there. All right, so we're going back over to here before we play this. Do we get cut? No, we don't. Uh-oh, we're so close to living. We've got one eye that he can't do anything about. We got one confirmed eye. What do we do about this one, though? A target, I guess, from the inside. And extend? Yep. Alright. So far, so good. Can't connect anymore. We're going all in. So far, it's looking dead. It's gotta be dead. That connects, so we disconnect. Honey, 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 honey. Can't Atari because bad things happen. Oh man, that's tricky. If we play here, oh, we're so screwed. And if we play uh, here, then we're screwed again. So the only thing that works right now is to play this. Threatening two eyes again. I have to poke that. Make sure that's not a thing. Guess we're connected up, but we're still kind of dead. Throw in for the eye. So far, so good. And he goes after this, because he made sure that the bottom doesn't live locally. If it's cut off somehow? No, not really. Can't really cut that off. Can't 
guess we're just gonna go and cut this off and see if we can't keep pushing. That's a forcing move. Okay, that's getting tricky. But if the bottom's fine, we can just connect, right? No, Atari. Yeah, we have to connect, literally. Wait, I messed up. How did I mess up? Here. 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 No, I messed up already. What? Oh, here, here. I gotcha. Because the cut doesn't matter. Right, okay. Right, 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 right. And then we play there, and then we play there. Then we play here and here. Now we connect. Liberty shortage. So we play that to defend. And now we're one dead group that can't go anywhere. Oh, right, I backed up slightly too far. Yeah, my bad, I'm sorry. Doot, 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 nope. Doot, 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 doot. There we go. So at this point, Black has no choice but to resign because he's dead. Okay, Professional Nine Don jumped into your area to try to kill you, to try to live, thus making you lose the game, and you killed him. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was a quick game, but it was the game that was voted on to go over. That is killing all the things, but... Yeah, I still don't like this move. It seems small. Like, all, all of White's inf all of Black's influence, rather, is... Or no, all of... Yeah, all of White's influence is stating that we need to deal with the middle, so this is just more of a territorial move? It seems tiny. He just never had any doubt that he could live back in here. If you have no doubts that you can live in the middle, then going after this to get rid of the center, to get rid of the territory on the right-hand side, makes a bit of sense. But if you have any doubts about that center, you would play that and not S12, I would think. Like, he had no doubt at all that he could live in here. A4 is needed to live, otherwise co, right? So, like I said, if you have no doubts that you can live in the center, then, yeah, why not play A4 and make sure there's no co down there? Just live everywhere. However, I do want to highlight one fascinating thing about this game. One group, two group, three group, four group, five group, six group. Black now has six groups to white's one, depending on the upper left. The upper left can connect, so I'm going to count it as one, maybe two groups. Black loves that territory. Yeah, 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 Red, I agree with you. I think this move and this move are too, sl are too slow. They're... I think they're overestimating his chances on that corner. Or on that center, rather. But still, I mean, you're going to get away with it almost every time. I mean, how many people could actually kill you when you're looking at all of the forcing moves in there? Ever. So many forcings, so many forcings. I don't know. He is a nine down. Crazy game. 
a game where you act where it looks like you had to kill or lose the game. Uh, I don't think Shin is actually an influential player. It just kind of turned out that way in this particular game. I mean, he's Korean, so there's a lot of fighting involved. Here, it's just that, well, you mean your opponent's giving you a bunch of influence, right? So what are you going to do? Yeah, it's not the first time, I know. Anyway, crazy game. Anywho, those of you who are not here for the start of today's stream uh, and are wondering about the originally scheduled lecture thing that we were going to do, I will have that uploaded uh, to YouTube in the next couple of days. Those of you who are interested in the basic series want to take a look at it because I play a basic game against my student where he plays against a one the uh, crazy stone at one down level and I talk about how he should be thinking about his game while he's going through that. So that's going to be uploaded onto YouTube because I thought it was a really good example of uh, basics and stuff like that. This will be uploaded in case you missed any of it and an actual, actual basics game will be uploaded within the next week simply because I have not been able to do it, or I, I have been able to do it, but I kind of got distracted with E3 this week, tuning into the coverage, and I didn't do it, so I'm sorry about that. But all that's coming up. You can look forward to that, and I will see you sometime within the next week. I'm going to review, not review, but do a night stream at some point, so you can look for me on that as long as you're following the channel. So I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.